everybody, I'm Lindsay Adler and I'm a portrait and fashion photographer based in New York City. Today we're in my New York studio and I'm going to show you how to create both a dramatic and steamy boudoir shot with a bright, rich splash of color. And I'm going to show you how to do this quickly and simply with just two speed lights. So let's begin by taking a look at that first speed light. Now the first speed light that I have, on it I have a Rogue Flashbender 2 with the strip attachment. Now what that does is it creates a strip softbox for me. Now, typically, if you're just using a bare speed light, it's a very small light source, it's very contrasty, very crisp. By adding the strip attachment, it softens the light, but also gives me a longer and narrower beam of light. I'm going to use this to carve out my subject's form. Where I've placed the speed light is something called a short light position. A short light position is when a speed light is slightly behind the subject, so that the shadows fall toward the camera. When the shadows fall toward the camera, this helps create drama. When I place the speed light, I don't just want to carve out her profile. Instead, I want the light to rake around her body a little bit. Now, as it wraps around her torso and around her chest, this is going to give more volume and more emphasis to her curves. I want to be able to carefully place this light, so I've got a little trick. What I do is I press the button beside my lens called the depth of field preview button. And what this does is it has my speed light put up a series of pulses of flashes, and I can use this as a modeling light. This way I can make sure that that strip softbox is actually wrapping around my subject a little bit in that short light position, really just giving me the curves that I want. So that's what I'm looking for with my very first speed light. Now of course, I can't see the curves of my subject straight on, so I turn her to the right. And what I'm looking for is I'm looking for just the right balance. If she's too straight on, not only does it not show her curves, but it's not going to allow the light to wrap so much. But if she turns in complete profile, it kind of flattens her out a little bit. So I'm looking for just the right angle. Once I've found that angle, the light and the pose work together perfectly, but unfortunately something is missing. I'm losing the back curves. And when I'm photographing someone in lingerie for boudoir, I want as many curves as possible. So I need to do something and use light to pop my subject out from the background. I have endless different solutions that I could use, but for this particular shot, I'm going to add a splash of color. I'm going to add a red gel on that background to match the red lingerie. What I've chosen for the modifier on this second speed light is a rogue grid. Grids focus the light. And so usually, with just a bare speed light, the light spreads out everywhere. When you add a grid, it focuses it in. Now, the smaller the degree grid you use, the more focused the light. Think of it like this. The smaller the number, the smaller the area it illuminates. I have the choices here of a 25 degree grid, which really focuses the light, or a 45, which gives me a little bit more spread of light. In this instance, I've decided to use a 45 degree grid. I want the light to spread out a little bit more so that I'll be able to light the background enough to really show her curves and give her definition and separation from that background. You can use Rogue Grid Gel to add a splash of color to your scene. And in this case, not only did I want to set the mood with red to make it fiery and steamy, but also I wanted to match the red lingerie. For this shot, I really want to add curves. And if she's straight on towards camera, it's really going to be her widest and not emphasize curves. So one way that I can create a curve is by having her cross her left leg over, bending her knee. In doing so, it's going to give me a little bit more curve on her lower back, and also on her thigh. Furthermore, at the bottom where her knees meet, it gives me something called a narrowing point. This narrowing point allows me to have a narrower part of her body, and if I crop there, it gives the illusion of more curves for the eye to follow. So I do this very strategically. I also make sure that her chest is not straight on towards camera, but instead turns slightly to the side, so it's picking up some of the light from behind, and as it rakes over, it gives more volume and it emphasizes her beautiful curves. I want to make sure as I'm placing that grid that it is illuminating the background that is right behind her lower back. That is going to allow me to have the separation I need to show off her beautiful curves. If you just place a grid at the background, it might not be placed in the right place and it still might fall to shadow right behind. So you're going to have to very carefully work with your grids. 
As you look at these images, not only are they using dramatic light to emphasize her beautiful curves, but it's also using a really rich splash of red to set the scene and also match the lingerie. And we've done this using two speed lights. One speed light with a rogue flash bender two with a strip attachment to give us dramatic light in the short light position. And then a second speed light with a 45 degree grid and on that a bright red gel for separation from the background and setting the scene, setting the mood. Looking at these images, it may appear that you need a lot of complicated or very expensive studio lighting, but instead it's done inexpensively and very quickly with just two speed lights and very selectively using placement of light and modifiers to create drama. If you enjoyed this tutorial and the images that I've made, be sure to check out some of the other Rogue videos.